For many here, it's personal. Most of these opposition activists are from Aleppo, brainstorming how they can raise awareness about what's happening to their city. We want to send our message to the international community to save Aleppo from the next genocide, to stop this. What the regime is doing now didn't even happen in the First or Second World War. Yunus Shashu left Aleppo a few months ago to visit his family in Turkey. He wanted to return, but the city was besieged by government forces and their allies. This is him in Aleppo in August, burning tires, he says, to hinder airstrikes. Here he films the damage caused by an airstrike. The window you see on fire was his office. He's been documenting what has become a broken city. Back in Turkey, regardless of significant government advances in the rebel-held east, activists still believe and hope that they can make a difference. The conversation turns to Fatal Sham, the group formerly known as the Nusra Front, that the UN, the US and Russia deem a terrorist organization and insist should leave Aleppo. Some activists insist they should leave, that they will be the reason more than 200,000 people could be killed. Others say fighters from the group are the ones holding the front lines. Another adds, even if they left it wouldn't make a difference, that the government wants Aleppo no matter what. Many of them still have families inside the city. For them, Aleppo is the heart of the revolution against President Bashar al-Assad. The thought of government forces regaining full control is unbearable. If Aleppo falls, it will be the end of the revolution in the north of Syria. The stronghold of the revolution is there. Other places have lost the revolution's soul, or fighting has taken it away. Aleppo is the only place that really raises the revolution's flag. If it falls, it means the fall of our history and our civilization. It means the falling of everything. For years, pictures from Syria are of a full-blown war. A constant stream of heartbreaking moments. That the world seems to become accustomed to. Syria appears to have lost its identity. A country with a rich multicultural and multi-ethnic heritage spanning thousands of years. For these Syrians, Aleppo represents perhaps the last chance of what they hope could be a better future. Refusing to give up despite the fact that their country's future seems to be out of their hands.